Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Because I've been getting popular lately, I think I should start posting more. It's really good to be back and posting videos for you guys. So, let's get started. This video is about how to go from scratch to Godot. I think you guys will really like this video because you get to do real programming and it's way more flexible and it feels a lot more fun to build these games because there's not really much of a limit. Look at this game. It only took me like a month to create. Look at this. I'm going into this planet orbit. I can get out of my ship. Fly around with my jetpack. It's really cool what you can create in just a little while. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video and show you how you can also create these sorts of games. Of course, I'll make Godot tutorials in the future. This is just for how to install Godot and some of the things you need to get used to with moving from scratch to Godot. Okay, so go to your common browser. Mine's Safari. So now. We're going to click on this link, I believe, and now if we go to download, we can download uh, one of these two versions. The standard version only supports GDScript, which is the programming language of Godot. So we want to download this. Okay, so now let's get on to the main meat of the video, moving from scratch to Godot. So one thing you will find a lot of changes with is that a lot of functions are predefined for you but some of them aren't and also you're gonna have to get used to one thing in particular which is if you create an x and a y variable usually these will be combined into one var variable called a vector 2. A vector 2 is a two-dimensional point in space with both an x and y value. So I'm going to show you what it would look like in, in GDScript. You'd usually define it like this, var position 2d equals vector to, let's say 0 0.4 and 1.2. And then what we can do is we can say vector 2 and then we say dot x. But uh, another thing you'll have to get used to is the positioning system. So I'm gonna make a quick script here for displaying the mouse X and Y. I'm a bit rusty with scratch. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is the coordinate space for scratch. Positive Y is going up and negative Y is going down. X negative is left and X positive is right. And zero, zero, the origin is at the center. And this really is more logical. It makes a lot more sense, but in GDScript, here I'll just write a quick conversion algorithm. The origin of 0, 0 is at the top left corner. Going down is positive, and going up is negative. But x is still the same. So these are some of the main things that you will find different between Scratch and Godot. But here are some of the more small things. For example, the print function. You can just type print like that and just type whatever the heck you want. And then it'll show up in the editor and it's very helpful for printing values and to see what's going on behind the scenes. But also, you'll have to learn about typing, not like blah 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 typing, I mean types. Integer, which is just a whole number, could be both negative and positive, uh, it is written as int, int. Then there's float, which is any decimal value, usually from 0 to 1 or negative 1 to 1, but it can be from any any value. And then there's texture, which is a texture, and then there's a lot of others. Another important one is a boolean, which is a true or false value. So you can tell if uh, what something is in Scratch based on the shape. You can see that the pointy means a boolean, the round means a number or a, or a text field, which is called a string. And in code, you always have to define it by putting it in quotes. Or else, the editor will get mad at you for a undefined variable, because it thinks it's a variable. And yeah. Also, another difference is how types can't interact. 
So in Scratch, you might make something. I used to make things negative if I knew they were always going to be a positive number by join a number and then negative. And then this would actually work. But that's not the case because then that would be combining a string and an integer and then Godot doesn't like that. But what you can do is that there's specialized functions like str like that and that str stands for a string and then you can put 80 and then it would return 80 which there's no difference to us humans, but to the computer there's a big difference. I might be forgetting some of the differences between Godot and Scratch, but these are just some of the main ones that came to my head. Sorry if I did something wrong. Uh, I'm a bit rusty with Scratch. Uh, but yeah, I really hope that you guys can start using Godot, and I'll do a few GDScript tutorials to get started. I really hope that you guys will like my videos uh, for the future and how they're gonna work with stuff in general. Yeah, alright, that's the video.